Hey everybody, it's your boy OG Ant bringing you the first and what we hope will be a fun and exciting adventure into the world of martial arts through the influence of Asian cinema. As a young man, I remember going to the McVickers Theater in Chicago on Saturday afternoons to watch my favorite martial artists such as the Venoms Mob, Jackie Chan, and Chow Yun Fat. But after the McVickers Theater was torn down, I migrated over to chop socky television such as Samurai Sunday and Kung Fu Movie of the Week on WPWR-TV Channel 60 and WGBO Super 66, respectively. Now, those days are gone, but the emergence of physical and electronic media such as DVD, Blu-ray, and video on demand allow me to relive those days and share some of them with my best friend and number one son, Danny. Our hope is to entertain, inspire, and engage you in dialogue, fun, and martial arts mayhem. So smash that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment so that we can provide you with more content. That's all for now. Please enjoy this video. Peace. The dying master of the powerful Poison Clan dispatches his last pupil, Yang, on a crucial mission. Worried, the skills he taught are being used for evil, he orders Yang to trace a retired colleague, Yoon, and warn him that the fortune he amassed from the clan's activities is under threat from five of his former pupils, each an expert in his own lethal combat style. Yang must discover the whereabouts and true identities of these mass warriors and decide which, if any, he can trust to join him on his mission. This is Five Deadly Venoms. Five Deadly Venoms is a cult 1978 Hong Kong martial arts film directed by Chang Che, starring the Venoms Mob, and produced by the Shaw Brothers Studio. The movie characters are inspired from the five poisonous creatures of Chinese folklore from which the film takes its title. The film is considered one of the most popular martial arts films of its era and was listed at number 11 on Entertainment Weekly's Top 50 Cult Films list. The five members of the Poisonous Clan are the Centipede, Snake, Scorpion, Lizard, and the Toad. Now stay with me because this can get confusing. Centipede and Snake were the master's first and second pupils and knew one another by name and face. Lizard and Toad were the fourth and fifth pupils respectively and they also knew each other. But Scorpion, the third pupil, was unknown to the other four members, so nobody knows who he is. The sixth pupil, Yang, came along after the other students left. But before he dies, the master teaches Yang all the weaknesses of the five styles in order to give him a fighting chance. And so off he goes to the town where he suspects the members are hiding. This movie has a strong plot full of intrigue and suspense, thanks in large part to the directing and writing prowess of director Che and producer Mona Fong. This film features less fighting than what you would see in a typical Venoms flick, but when the fighting starts, it's a treat to see. The fighting choreography is particularly special in this movie because it matches the Poison Clan members with a particular skill set. For example, the centipede style is based on quickness of hands and feet, his strikes are so fast that it's almost as if he has a hundred arms and legs. The snake style is based upon his agility and speed, particularly with his head and tail strikes, and he fights really well on his back. The scorpion style utilizes his right and left leg kicking ability as a metaphor for a scorpion's tail. He also is a master at throwing darts, in case you didn't get enough of him kicking your ass. The lizard style is mostly based on his mobility and skill at climbing walls, a la a certain Marvel wall crawler that shall remain nameless, <coughs> Spider-Man. Then there is the Toad, which is my favorite character of this movie. The Toad, get this, is impervious to harm, meaning he can't be cut, stabbed, slashed, punctured, you name it. And trust me, it is incredible watching the baddies try to break this guy. No spoilers, but damn. The fight choreo, which in later movies is handled by the actors, especially Philip Kwok, was done by choreographer Lung Tung, who does an effective but not spectacular job. There is very little weapon play utilized in this movie except for a brief stint done by the centipede with a sword, but it's still not bad, because after all, it's the Venoms. The movie overall has a lot going for it and is a perfect example of how not all martial arts movies are just your typical goofy guy wants to learn kung fu then his father dies and he learns a new skill in a day and beats the old master on top of a hill type movie. Instead, the five deadly venoms takes you on a journey of trickery, betrayal, action, and a quest for gold. 
In my opinion, this is not the best movie featuring the Venoms mob, but it is one of the most important because of its significance to the culture. I don't think you can go anywhere in the world and mention this movie and people don't know it. The positives, I would say that the movie has a strong plot with just enough twist to keep you on your toes. The acting is top notch, particularly when Lu Feng is on the screen as the toad. Lu Feng's charisma and charm just pours all over the screen and I'm here for it. Special shout out to Wei Pai who plays the snake, who's torn between being a cold blooded killer and someone who just wants to learn a special brand of Kung Fu, so he joins the Poison Clan. This plays out well in scenes when he is alone with the Scorpion, who by the way wears his mask for the entirety of the movie, that is until the final five minutes when it's revealed who he really is. The negatives, Yang, the sixth pupil, who was sent on the mission, played by Chang Shang, gets very little to do in this movie except act goofy and stand in the background, which is a shame because he's a talented acrobat slash fighter and not too shabby with a weapon either. As this was one of their first movies, I won't hold it against them, but the fighting choreo does go up by leaps and bounds in their later iterations. Other than that, I think that Five Deadly Venoms is a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Good fighting, good script, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it 8.5 kicks. That's all for now. See you next time. What's up?